Good afternoon, everybody. A wee bit cloudy, not too bad. We uh, <clears throat> are in the market for tractors, obviously, always. And one thing I really miss from back home is tractor dealerships. We have loads of them around. You just go wheel in and, and have a look, drive through the yard and see all the used equipment that they have available. So I have not found a dealership like that yet. If you know of one in the area, please drop it down below. I'm talking like a big yard, uh, uh, the one, my favorite ones, you know, they'll have like 40 or 50, 60 tractors, used tractors, different styles, different models. Uh, also new tractors, they got combines, they have grain wagons, hay wagons, manure spreaders, plows, mowers, everything. It's all lined up in the yard. And you just drive through and have a look and see, you know, what you like and don't like. So if you know of a dealership like that, please let me know. Uh, and it doesn't have to be in Nizhny, I'm willing to drive a little ways. I like looking at equipment. So here, at this dealership in Nizhny, they sell gazelle vans, and they also have a few tractors, not a lot. Just some small stuff here, this is more like garden variety, good for a rototiller maybe. And they have a couple of bigger ones, I don't know anything about them, I just happened to see it on the way by. So I have not researched this yet, Lovell 804. I'm just going to guess this is about an 80 horse tractor but I don't know for certain. Okay, so I just looked it up. Yes, it's an 80 horse tractor, four cylinder engine, brand new. So we had a Farm All 90. If you go back to our footage, I had that Farm All 90 for eight years. I think I absolutely loved it. Great little tractor, it was built in Turkey. It's a Case International tractor and uh, very simple. Everything was mechanical, not a lot of electronics, which is actually it's actually nicer, I find, because uh, services gets to be more and more expensive. All those electronics you do have to pay a lot for. If something breaks, they got to come out with a laptop in order to fix it. Whereas if it's mechanical, there's still a lot more stuff that you can fix yourself. We're not necessarily looking for a new tractor, but we are interested in tractors. So, so this also is very, very simple. You got your PTO straight handle on the floor there. This looks like forward reverse. Low, low, medium, high. Oh, they do a, there you go, they got shuttle forward reverse, so that's a little bit better. And then uh, that's your other shifter ranges there. Remotes on the back. No body seat, but it looks comfortable enough. I'm not sure who makes Lovell either. And 80 horses is plenty for uh, a lot of things. Three remotes, which is nice. Electrical, hydraulics, good, good, good. Oh, it's got air too. That's something that's not common here. I, I've, from what I understand, it's more common in Europe. Air brakes on equipment. So you have your two airlines here, just like you'd have on a truck that just clip in. And we don't, they don't come standard anyway. It's an option you can get in North America, but I've never seen a tractor with it there. Plastic. Yeah, yeah so a nice enough looking tractor actually. Don't mind that. An 80 horse, like I said, that's plenty for a lot of stuff. That Farmall 90 I had was 86 horse. I often said it acted like more. We used to have a maximum 110 and that Farmall 90 would pretty well work just as, ho as hard as it. So it, uh, it was just geared and torqued right. It was a good little tractor. This tractor over here is a Belarus. Belarus. 95, model number is 95, 952.3. That's a 95 horse tractor. These are a little bit more, I don't know, goofy looking. They're kind of square and old looking, I find. I've never been in one. Some guys love them and some guys hate them. I have a lot of guys tell me these things are a nightmare to work on. My one reasoning for going with a tractor like this is because there's so many of these around here that getting parts won't be an issue. And as much as I love Case, Case International tractors, it's going to be harder and harder to get parts for them. And if you can't find parts for your tractor, then, well, it might sit for a while. So, with sanctions and everything, I think that might be difficult. They come in various different colors. This is probably an older model, I'm not sure, but it's also Belarus. And judging by that number, I looked this one up and this was 95 horse, so I'm just going to assume that this is 122 horse, and that's 150 horse. So that would be more the range I'm looking. Depending on what we get into, I would like uh, one smaller one, well a couple of smaller ones, we're going to have a really small one for rototilling and garden work. Uh, but then around the yard it's nice to have a tractor that's like, you know, 70 to 80 horse, 50 to 100, say that. And then uh, for some more serious field work I'd like to have 150 to 200 horse. 
uh, that would be sufficient for us. But if we end up getting into more land on top of that yet, then obviously this something bigger yet. Yeah. Pardon? This one's huge compared to that blue one over there. The green one? Yeah, it's white actually. The wheels are green. It looks nice. What is it? Valeris as well? No, it's an egg grow. Egg grow, oh yeah. I wonder whose that is. RMX Agro. Yeah, we'll have to check that out, check the serial numbers on those. I don't like the lighter blue. I haven't any luck finding this particular model, but they, this company makes them anywhere from 60 to 240 horse, so I'm not sure. Got a bar axle though, which is nice for duels. Uh, three remotes as well. Probably has air on here too, no? No, don't see it, it doesn't come standard anyway. Yo. I like all mine with loaders on them as well. This one does not currently have one. They're all locked up too, so they won't let us in unless I ask. Oh, no buddy seat. That surprises me. A tractor this size usually would have a buddy seat. Very basic actually on the inside. Very basic. It doesn't even look that comfortable. Like the space between the seat and the pedals doesn't look hardly large enough for a big guy like me. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, here you go. 147. So this tractor is not even that big. You can see. 140 cents. It's about 150 horse ish. Not super big. Now, we're going to look at this guy. Yet. This is also 150 horse. This one's brand new. It looks like it knows how to work. But the looks ain't everything. Bar axle on here as well. Uh, comes with three remotes again. They're electric remotes. It's nice, but again, this is what I was saying with all the electronics. When they stop working, it's really hard for a guy like me to diagnose. You got to get a laptop out, you hook it into the computer system, and it tells you what's wrong. Air brakes again. This one's electric? Yeah, you can see right here. This is the electronic mechanism. No, this one's not. Oh, mind you, this one's not, so I don't know what that's for. Because this has got cables running, but then it does have this. Main trail. This is the same as our Puma had on the three for the loader. Remember that? No. I got these three experts right here with me. I'm glad I took them along. Especially this guy, he knows everything about tractors. Do you? No. No, not really. You know they're fun though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is odd too. The hitch is up so high. Hey, there's no tongue. Are you raising up and down? Ah, yes, 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 you're right. That's different though. Very different. For that, pretty standard. Probably locked. Yeah. Again, no buddy seat. That's really surprising. I like buddy seats. We're all about taking the kids with everywhere we go as often as we can and uh, and teaching them. Everything's learning. So I love having a buddy seat in a tractor. Even without one, I mean, I'd still cram three or four kids in there if they want to come with, uh, and they usually do. Uh, but it's just nicer with a buddy seat then when they fall asleep I don't feel so bad for them because they're actually buckled in and if you hit a bump they don't fall over So yeah So again creature comforts a little lacking looks like more leg room here though at least But not not super comfy looking in here Does that matter? Yes to me it really matters you're in that thing a guy that's running that thing is gonna be in there sometimes in the summer for 15 to 18 hours I, I once spent 21 hours in a single day in a tractor and it was very comfortable. We took our shoes off at the door and um, you know it sit in nice and comfort. So that was seating time, very very busy. You want to be comfortable. I mean obviously I did get out of the tractor once in a while uh, but yeah 21 hours is a long time. So if you're in here this is your home for the summer you want it to have room, you want to be comfortable, you want to have air conditioning, you want to have you know a good good seat so your back's not sore at the end of the day. Those are all important things. To making the job more fun it's not all just about function it's it's about you know enjoyment and comfort as well so anyway a few options here like i said this one here's kind of older looking 120 horse same thing this is i don't know what the year is on this thing but the creature comforts remind me of the uh, the 90s that's all there is to look here we're gonna keep cruising down the road see what else we find these are actually neat too this is not tractor related I like these little half pickup, half vans that Gazelle makes. These are all Gazelles. 
We were actually uh, looking, I was hoping to buy one of these for our personal van, but I couldn't find one in my price range. But they do have some really nice stuff. And down the road for the farm, I mean, that's perfect. You can load hay and whatever else you want on the back of these. Some of them actually have a dump box that, that dumps. So, yeah, pretty nice. I didn't make it very far down the road, but I've seen this guy. This is a pretty neat looking truck. I don't know how old that is. That's really neat. I like it. And I seen this tractor. Which actually, after I stopped, I noticed it's the same model number as the last one. So no difference there. Get a bit better look at the front end, I suppose. Now, for emissions reasons, which I'm not a huge believer in that it actually helps, but we have uh, these huge cans on there now for filtering. And you gotta get the extra deep fluid. It robs a lot of your horsepower. Supposedly saves the environment, but I doubt that. I think it's just another money grab. In any case, I noticed that these tractors, as far as I know, that's a new tractor. They don't have that here, which is, uh, which is actually a plus. A lot of the transport truck guys I talk to, they say the same thing, that you lose a lot of horsepower and spend a lot of extra fuel running that stuff. And it doesn't, uh, in, in most people's opinion, it doesn't actually do anything. So, interesting to know. Buddy. Yeah, they look funny beside each other, right? That's one for you, one for me. It's a bit of a different size. <laughs> Alright, so we found another dealership. Just driving down the road here. Again, they're not like back home. Maybe they exist. I don't know. I know I've seen one actually. Uh, the Hares over in Novosbrisk, they, they went to a dealership over there. Uh, that's in the Altai region. And it had quite a range of stuff. So I'm hoping we have that. I was just thinking too, like the dealerships back home, a lot of times they got a row of stuff that nobody wants. It's just like too small or whatever, which is great for smaller farmers. You can wheel through there and get plows and things like that nobody wants. In uh, Saskatchewan, I remember going to an auction sale and there was equipment that was just too small for the guys. The farms get bigger and bigger and bigger. And so the, the bigger or the smaller equipment, they don't want it anymore. And you can sometimes go to an auction and pick stuff up really, really cheap. So this is all new stuff. And here you can see what I'm saying. These Belarusians, they still make them the same looking like they, this thing looks like it's really really old but i mean it's not if you look at the condition it's brand new tires brand new axles i think it's a brand new tractor it's just they haven't changed the design for some reason on that and then there's these lobels so they come in various different sizes that actually looks like the most comfortable modern uh look 804 this is the same one we looked at a little while ago the 80 horse tractor oh this one's actually open look at that very nice. Oh, if I can get in. So, yeah, hopefully that backs up. Can I come in too? Yeah, buddy. Look at room. I don't see how the seat backs up, but anyway. Can you drop that hood again, buddy? So I got a little, little here to get some air out. Air conditioning in it. Uh, yeah, it's a radio MP3 player. Not a lot of room. It's a small tractor again, but it's an 80 horse tractor. This is nice. Our farm all had uh, forward and reverse on the floor, which is just kind of annoying because you only have so many hands. When you have a loader tractor, you need your right hand over here to run the loaders. And then this is your forward reverse, or not your forward reverse, your, your shifting. So you can use the same handle for, or same hand to run that. It's not an issue. Um, but then you gotta get this hand off to go forward reverse. So if you're doing a lot of loader work, it's this is nice to have it up here. It's a lot faster because you can do this pop, pop, and not have to clutch every time too. I don't know about this specific one, but a lot of them you don't have to push the clutch in in order to go forward or reverse. Yeah, I don't mind that. This tilts, maybe. Yep, yeah, moves. Something worth looking into. It is. A few options. I think it's fairly basic, all in all. PTO, four wheel drive. Oh yeah, so this is on the floor too. The farm mall is the same. I wonder if this isn't copied after the farm mall. I believe that farm mall, the Case IH farm mall model, uh, the one that I had, 
I believe it's copied after the old Fiat design, and I wonder if this isn't as well. I'd have to research that, but there's a lot of similarities to it. It could be. In any case, I don't mind that at all. As a smaller tractor, that's still decent size. And maybe it's the kind of thing where we can make a deal. Say, hey, listen, we'll take uh, we'll take a 50 horse tractor and an 80 horse tractor. What kind of deal can you make? Might be worth looking into. Right now, I don't need them. Right now, we're just wandering around looking. That's a biggie. 350 horse tractor. Yeah, look at the size of the nose on that thing. Reminds me of those Magnums, eh? Where the nose sticks out so far. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Batwing mower. I don't know if we'll ever get around to that. What is this? It's got its own loader? Is that a stole loader or is it they make their own? Well, yeah, they could put any label on it. It looks kind of like a stole, doesn't it? That is a big bucket. How many horses is this guy? All right, we're in luck. This place has got a bunch of stuff open. It's not really a good sign when that's stuff's dangling out. Smells lovely, Lou. Oh, this seat hopefully backs up. Yes, it does. Okay, we don't want to back up right now because I got this plastic back here. We don't wreck nothing. That's good because that gives me a lot more leg room. You can actually stretch them out. Loader controls are on the left. That is odd. I've never seen that in my life. And I don't think I would enjoy that at all. So that would, that's something that can be moved. There's just cables going through the floor. You can easily move that. This, one, two, three, four. Yeah, it's relatively basic. I don't think there's a lot of electronics in this guy. That's huge. Look at that thing on. What is that? Airplane? The guy on the top? Yeah, it'd be air in. There you go. Sun's kind of bright. Fairly basic. It and then it's got. Oh, it's getting me opened up. Let some air in. You pulled it out again? No, it was out. I just stuck it in. Must have fallen out again. There you go. These open up. Get some air. The trouble with that, I mean, you can do that, but then you get a lot of dust in the cab too. It makes a mess. They all have packages in them. A couple more underneath the snow. Soon it'll all be melted. What do we got here? Kind of a mixer of some kind? I'm not actually sure. Fertilizer spreader, maybe. Yeah, I think it is. Hard to say. Huge payloaders. More tractors. Pretty well all the same. But again, not a lot of used stuff. This is all brand new. Like that thing is huge. This one's a little less. This one actually has a buddy seat though. But I don't need a 350 horse tractor. <laughs> no. Neat. Interesting wagon. So here, this guy's got air brakes on it. And like I said, we don't see that. I mean, obviously in our transports you do, but not in farm uh, wagons. Not standard, anyway. Nice little dump wagon. Oh, they got more farm equipment back here. Beautiful day. It's gonna be just above zero every day this week. So, very nice. We're heading in the right direction. Winter's uh, not gonna last forever. These are cool, too. I like these old loafs somebody sent me one in the emails i don't know who anymore now but it was a beauty i was tempted to buy it but it got sold before i could get to it but it was uh the whole van this is uh obviously a cargo more of a cargo carrier but still nice all right some seed drill stuff again can't see a whole lot it's all brand new stuff no tires on here even it's a pretty big one i'm not sure step it off a minute but one, two, three, four, five, well, five and a half, so 16 foot maybe, seed drill. 
Big rototiller, missing the shanks on there. But... And more seed boxes. Get a little closer into here now. They're all sealed up or closed up. But... Hey, buddy. There's a ramp. Yeah, so we can load stuff, eh? Probably. And then we got some round balers, looks like. Don't know what kind of round baler that is. What I really would like, not too many companies make them. We love wrapping feet, so I like making wet silage bales. And then uh, we had a, uh, a tube line inline wrapper. So it wraps up all the bales in plastic, helps them ferment, keeps them good. And I would actually like to have a baler with a wrapper attached. It saves an enormous amount of time because it can all be done at once. There's only a few companies that make those. And then, of course, with the sanctions, you got to be careful not to buy the wrong wire. You'll never find parts. So this is strictly a baler. I've never seen one like this before. I don't even know what the company is or if they're any good. I have no idea. I've got a few of them sitting here, though. Couple more tractors tucked in back here. Big cultivator maybe or something. These are these brushes they like cleaning snow with. Seems to be a very popular thing. Yeah, there's a big cultivator back there. That's pretty big too. Kind of hard to get to though. Brand new. Nice. Yeah, nice one, eh? It's got those nice, um, what do you call those, the drums on the back for smashing up the clumps of dirt. I don't know if we need one that big. That's big. What's that? Oh, shoot, we don't need a tractor that big. How big is this one? Same thing? That's oh, another 350 horse tractor beside you. Yeah. That there, I think think is a rake buried in the snow here but I could be wrong and a loader bunch of buckets scraper blade more rototiller stuff Got a lot of those and that's it so yeah we'll keep looking we'll drive to the next year but I kind of like to see uh, I don't know a bunch of plows cultivators discs manure spreaders all sorts of stuff, all lined up in a yard. If you know where that exists, please drop her down below in the comments. I would like to see a yard full somewhere. Maybe I gotta go closer to Moscow. Find that hard to believe. There should be a dealership around somewhere. Beautiful day, crossing the bridge right now. Heading for some more. Or another dealership that's over here somewhere. Little guy, I don't know, he's got a few things in him. It's a beautiful sunset in the city tonight. Well, now it was. There, now it's nice. A lot of congestion right now, as you can tell. Depending on the time of the day, it's uh, very empty, but right now, obviously, it's quitting time and everybody's heading home. a little while to find you can see the sun's going down there but it's still a beautiful day we found another dealership it's still really small but it's got more variety at least and another tractor i don't know what this is never heard of this one farmer it's called so uh, interestingly enough i don't know i'm gonna go google this right now but it's uh, some german technology italian technology uh i'm not sure we'll go look i also didn't find out the horsepower uh oh i might see right here Okay, so I still don't read Russian, but I think I've seen that before, so I'm going to guess it's 160 horse, but I don't know. Again, no buddy seat. It's nice to have a seat right here for the kids. Basic controls, no electronics on that, so you get your four-wheel drive and your PTO. 1,000 PTO and 540, which is nice. Very, very basic controls here. Uh, roomy cab. Not bad at all. I can stretch out my legs again, like I said. Unfortunately, no buddy seat, so that always drives me uh, nuts. I like having my kids with me. Seat's not very great. It's actually vinyl. 
constantly sliding off so I know that would get annoying because you'll always be sliding you can upgrade that for a cloth seat other than that one two three four we got uh, what is this NS slow that's your forward and reverse oh no right here forward and reverse so that would be annoying as well because everything's on one side and then loader controls would be here too it might not be that bad looks like four remotes Let's look at the back interesting there's a lot of different brands here that uh, brands that we just don't have back home it's kind of interesting what's what thing ah good question some kind of a crane no yeah i think it's a crane goes on the back of go on the back of your three-point hitch the orange thing you're talking about right mm -hmm. yeah it goes on the back of your three-point hitch and then it reach out to be a crane okay yeah so four remotes on the back one two three four color cord pto's down there big, big thick hitch it's a big tractor i don't believe it. it's got to be more than 160 horse anyway they got a bunch of them here and they got these again the uh, Bolaris's and then a bunch of these farmers be interesting to demo one on the farm I don't know if that's a thing here either but it's fun to do back home you can call them up sometimes they don't always do it but they'll bring out a tractor for you to demo uh, I know when I had the goat farm the neighbor was demoing one I mean everybody in the area got to use that tractor everybody was trying it out it's a nice big New Holland tractor but the idea is that hopefully somebody buys one eventually right and the, the more tractors they get in the area uh, the more likelihood of other people buying them. These are great as well. Telehandler, is there a brand name on that, Wes? No? So we would really like one of these, but smaller. This one's, this one's too big. There's smaller ones where they're only about this tall, and they're great for cleaning out the barn. Four-wheel steering, and they have telescopic. This slides in and out, which is great for stacking bales or loading manure, all those kinds of things. But this, this is more of a construction job site guy. This bar here keeps stuff from crashing through your window if you drop something off your forks or whatever oh, so you can easily see the other tire from here. oh yeah yeah no problem this is just a big big machine here's a nice little loader tractor it's a smaller size i imagine the inside is probably very much the same to the last one yep it is now it would be nice to have a shuttle shift oh this one's open too perfect well, this one says 99, so maybe it is the horsepower. Yeah, I don't read all that. I have to translate it. It's hard. I can't translate. People say, oh, use your phone to translate. Well, yeah, I can't do that while I'm filming. Of course, I'd need two films, phones. Um, where's the forward reverse on this guy? Four-wheel drive. High and low. PTO. This, this guy's forward and reverse a bit. Yeah, I think so. That's different. I don't know if I'd like that or not. So sitting here, I think it's just this guy. That feels weird. I don't see anywhere else for forward and reverse though. Hmm. Well, that wouldn't be the end of the world. Again though, it's a nice enough tractor, but no body seat. I wonder if that's something we could add. Take this off maybe and add a body seat. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, they stick out a long ways. Yeah, you wouldn't need this many though, probably. I don't know what the weight. That's 330 kilos just on that one. Oh yeah, they're sticking out really far. Yeah, that makes things a little awkward, doesn't it? Yeah, we need like suitcase with the cat. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. Interesting. What else they got? They are closed, so we want to hurry up. This, I think, is a straw chopper, so I thought about using some, I guess, for feed. Like I said earlier, I like uh, making silage bales, but it is nice to have a way of um, ripping them apart sometimes. So, yeah, so this would cut it all up. You put your bale in here, it would grind it up. I seen something like this in action the other day. It was different than this one, though, but it had a bar that crunched it. Which this almost looks like it would do that too, but this doesn't move. That just keeps from getting wrapped around it. I think this is strictly for straw. Straw chopping is my guess. And you got the blower here and you can blow the bedding in the pen. Still nice to have. And a seed drill, boz, bozkurt seed drill. No tires on here yet, getting it ready for the year. That's a nice seed drill. 
nice and wide, I mean. What do you got there? Potato planter? It looks kind of like a potato planter. I'm not sure, actually. Maybe not. I don't know what that is. No, I don't think so. Anyway, something. things here to look at. I don't know what this is. Did you figure it out? No, yeah, maybe it is. It's got these cups in here. I'm not sure. Some kind of cedar. What's that, Wes? Kind of is there one? Oh! Not a great big telehandler, so you can see the handiness of it, but it's just way too big for what we need it for. A couple of balers over here. More tires. That's a teeny tiny banner there. That banner's laying on its back. <laughs> That's the belly of the baler. Somebody tipped her over backwards accidentally, like. Unless they ship them that way. This would be a nice dump wagon. Hey? See that thing? Could haul a little bit of stuff with that. Be nice to have higher sides though. All right, what are we pointing out here? Oh yeah, side of the wagon. More of these brooms they like so much. Yeah, this is a fairly common silage wagon. So it's good to know they sell those too. I like the idea of growing corn silage, especially for the beef cattle. Um, we would want much taller sides than that, but yeah, you could definitely load that full. So you would blow it in here with, if you're not familiar with farming, you blow it in here as you're chopping the feed in the field, and then when you bring it to the yard, it uh, the chains here bring everything forward, it rattles it off with these guys out into here, and then there's another apron chain in here that kicks it all out the side. There. And this I'm not exactly sure of anything. There's some kind of oh it's a disc here. Looks like brand new, not put together yet, I guess. Same as that guy. Pretty good. Again, we're just looking around, see what's available, I'm not buying anything at the moment. Spending some time with the boys. You guys having fun looking at equipment? Mm -hmm. Makes you smile, doesn't it? <laughs> you too, or are you just grumpy? I don't like equipment. <laughs> yes, sir. It is kind of cute, isn't it? We don't really need one, though. We can lift up cows for butchering with it. Hmm? <laughs> and that's it. Oh no, they got a sprayer over here. Oh, let's go look at that sprayer. Yep. Yeah. All right, I got a few more pieces here of equipment. Nice little dump wagon. And a sprayer. Small tires on it, though. It looks like John Deere, but John Deere colors is probably something out of China, maybe. Sibico? Says on the seat. Yeah, it doesn't really say. Can you get in it, Papa? Oh, I don't need it in it. It's a nice sprayer, though. Another disc, heavy disc, looks like. Small stuff, though. Eh? This thing too is very small. A dump wagon. Another seed drill packed in here. Well, this is probably the dealership with the most stuff so far, eh? But still pretty small compared to back home. Oh yeah, airbags under here, you said? Oh yeah. Makes for a smoother ride. Nice, eh? Yeah. 
That's the brand. Well, we'll look it up later. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that little tour. We we're looking like we're running out of daylight, so by the time I find another one, we probably won't be able to film it. Hope you enjoyed it. Drop your comments down below. I'm still looking for a better dealership. If you've got one and you're in this area or anywhere within a day's drive, let me know, and I would gladly come and take a look at it. But I like lots of stuff. I want to see lots of stuff. Uh, and also, I'm interested in some prices, of course, on equipment at some point. But, uh, yeah, just looking, looking around more than anything right now. So, if you enjoy this, give it a thumbs up. If you don't enjoy it, give it a thumbs down. As always, please like, share, and subscribe. Get the message out there, the videos out there. We enjoy uh, sharing these things with you, and it's good to get the feedback to know that you enjoy it as well. So, God bless you all. We'll catch you on another one. Hey, darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now